Welcome back, YouTube. Make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button and negotiate your way to becoming a diplomat here in the embassy. It is I, Ambassador Al, the ambassador of Marvel Strike Force and the envoy of winning. We win so much, winning. We win so much, even when we lose, we can still win. And speaking of losing, let's go blitz like losers. I mean, like winners. We're sweaty tryhards. We're grinders. We're going to make it happen. We're going to win stuff for ourselves. We're going to win Ben Stein's money. No, um, it's fight or flight or fright or flight. It's fright or flight. Fright or flight. See, it's Halloween-ish. It's October. We're Halloween adjacent. It's the Blitz for Dark Hawk kind of stuff, you know? Dark Hawk. Okay, here's the basic rundown. It's seven days. It's a solo event. Leaderboards. No. Yeah. All right. Max milestone. 285. You're not going to get there free to play. If that's what you're looking for, stop the video, but go ahead and subscribe. Okay. And share to your people in Discord or wherever you share your free to play materials for free. Maybe it's like need a penny, take a penny, whatever. Um, max milestone, 25,000 points. Okay. My target milestone, about 171. Milestone 17. We might be able to get further. We'll see. Monthly event milestone, easy to get with moderate engagement. How's it work? All right. We're going to blitz a lot. All right, so also there are, before we get there, there are web stones. Uh, as they're web-based milestones, you do 700 alliance credits a day. Basically, you're going to do 50 cores, donations for the next seven days. You and your alliance are. Usually, you don't all have to do it, but you, yeah, you, you're, we've done this before. Work with your alliance, figure it out. If you only do, if you don't quite make it there, you only get 1,000 per day instead of 2,000 a day, and that can make a big difference. That's three and a half orbs at 7,000 points. It's a big deal, so you guys should try to get involved with that. All right, you fight amongst yourselves. Welcome back. Okay, now I made a few different scenarios, but basically I made a four rotations a day, four blitz rotations. I'm assuming 45 wins per rot. That's per rotation. And we have 51, that's 5-1, five, 51 blitz teams you can use now. So if you go 45 victories and six losses, you're okay. I'm assuming 50 orb fragments per win because the last time I did this, a big math spreadsheet was for Beta Ray Bill. And we got 75 fragments per win. I plugged in 75 fragments per win, and it was way too good for us. We got way too many milestones and way too many shards of Dark Hawk, so I don't believe it. So I put down 50. That may, so may be too good. We have to actually test it in game to find out. I don't know yet. I also said, hey, don't forget power cores are part of, this, part of the points in this one. And for once, they promised us 10 points per power core spent. And it still says 10 in game, so that may actually be right. And so the last time they, they lied to us. Well, they, they said five to one. Then it was one, there was only one to one. Uh, too bad. And they gave us all these extra points to, and extra currency to spend the store. So it actually worked out better for us that they lied or made a mistake or goofed or biffed it, allegedly. Um, so this time we're getting 10 for one. So if you're power coring your way through the store, refreshing it to get more gear 18 stuff. If you're doing 50 energy refreshes for your campaign energy, if you're doing 50 for ISO, which I don't do except for during the events, or you're spending cores for extra raid attacks or for extra refreshing yourself for the war attacks you got to do for the next event that may be starting today or starting Thursday because it was said blocks of Thursday. But maybe it's today. Who knows? Whatever you spend cores on, it doesn't matter what you spend the cores on, they all count towards points for the milestone. Points, not orb fragments, but points towards milestones. You do so much talking. I know. Anyway, so I did four rotations a day with 100 cores or healing in DD6, whatever you're doing. Um, I did eight rotations a day, 100, 100 cores a day. PC has power cores. And I did one thing, which is more like me, eight rotations a day and 600 power cores a day, which I probably do more, whatever. So we'll see how it looks. If you do, we'll do the milestones first and the fragments later. So the first one, four rotations a day. You spend 100 power cores a day, and you, and you do the alliance credit donations. It all works out there. You got this stuff. Ah, ah, you'll get 91,000 points total. Where does it get you? It gets you to milestone 12, which is past the free stuff. You also get two more elite five orbs to open and 10, 10, 10, 10 shards. Woo, boy, 10 shards. 10 shards of Dark Hawk. Doesn't sound very exciting, but don't forget, you're getting orb fragments, and these, you're going to open orbs that have Dark Hawk in them. More than likely. They may have zero on some of the orbs. You know, like Iron Man. Iron, oh, God. Um, <laughs> it's a possibility. 
Okay, so you get the free monthly event. You get there, and we'll show later how many shards we get. But first, milestones. It's here, 12 out of 20. Eight a day, and 100 cores a day. No big deal. Way further, milestones 16. What You get 20 cumulatively as 10, and 10 more Dark Hawk shards, and two Elite Sixes on top of your Elite Fives, and some other stuff in there. We'll look at the milestones in a second. Are they great? Uh, they're not that great. The further ones, great. You can almost get down to, remember, 20 is the last one. If you go hard, 600 power cores a day and eight rotations a day and your donations. You're doing all the all the sweaty dryer stuff. You're supposed to do, ah, Dark Hawk. Be careful. I know. That's, I mean, basically, get, getting a big Dark Hawk was basically my entire hobby back in the day. Um, clip it. Anyway, uh, look at the milestones. Look at the milestones. So, yeah, you're going to get milestone 18, which is like one of the whale stones. I know. It's possible if you're spending 600 power cores a day and do air rotations a day and going crazy and my and my aspects are right. We'll see. What does it get you? Let me show you real quick in the game. Oh, I had up had it queued up. Milestones. Whoop. Whoop. Hello. Jeez. There we go. So yeah, the first one's uh not that great, right? You're like, oh let me, let me get my head out of the way. Uh, it's orange stuff and some milestones and leap fours and cares and some, you know, oh here's five. There's five more. There's your monthly event, the fang, the fanged anklet, fanged anklet. All right, if you get past there, like I said, milestone 12 is achievable, which is four rotations a day and 100 power cores a day, no problem. A little further, hey, there's seven red stars for Kestrel. If you don't have seven red stars, and Pegasus is a great team. You can sim the tech nodes if you, you know, if you know what you're doing. Um, I know. Anyway, uh, seven red stars is nice. 10 more, that's, that's my 20. And at least six is, that's what I'm saying. If you get down to milestone, eight a day, eight rotations a day, 100 power cores a day, 154, you're getting past milestone 16. You get the seven red stars, you get 20 total, plus the five we got free clams last Friday, if you got them, um, and two late sixes. And teal health catalyst, which you're probably running out of if you're building all your characters for Dark Dimension 6. Or just because there's not enough in the game. Uh, if you go, again, eight rotations and 600 power cores a day, uh, you can do more. There's no cap, apparently. Uh, you can get milestone 17, milestone 18. I must spend a little more to get, cap it off, right? I'll get 20 more shards. That's 40 from the milestones, plus five from Friday. Plus, hey, this is nice. You need Osmium for if you want to get more than the Fae. Gambit, Iron Man, uh, Infinity, Infinity War, uh, Ronin. They all need this darn Osmium. It's, it's uh, and so did Nova. So did Vol, but I already took him to 18. It's not showing this list. Osmond's a really critical bottleneck thing. Anyway, it's great. Um, if you want to go 19 and 20, you got to spend another like 30, another 3,000 power cores or another 8,000 power cores. It's basically 100 bucks of uh, power cores to get here on top of the air rotations. I think it might be more like 9,000. Whatever. You're probably not doing this unless you're uh, unless you're the guy who does this. But there's nice stuff here. I mean, there's more tech. There's 80 of these and 25 of these. and ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. But this is, I'm calling 18, ordinarily I'd say 18 and 19 are, are whale stones, and 20 is a kraken stone. I see 20 is still a kraken stone. 18 is possible if you're going 600 cores a day and blitzing a lot, and 19 here. Again, that's if my estimated number of orb fragments per blitz win is 50. It may not be. I'm just having to guess because we're, we, we're not good enough. We don't deserve to know the math ahead of time. I'm an envoy. They don't, we're, we don't deserve it. We don't deserve to know the math ahead of time. We don't deserve it. We've asked for it. We don't deserve it. I don't know why. We don't, we, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. We could hype their stuff more, but we're not worthy of giving you how things go until it goes. Why? I don't know. My theory is they want more anxiety and more FOMO. They want more. They want less certainty. And us explaining things doesn't help them sell, move more product. So we're not going to get the information that helps them move less product. Oil wants to help them move more product. Oh, is that negative? Oh, I'm just saying it's how things go. All right, back to the math. All right, so that's the milestones. But don't forget, you're pulling orb fragments to get an orb to pull the character. How's it going to go? I don't know. Again, they haven't told us the math. I'm recycling old data. But I'm telling you up front, I'm recycling old data to make a guess, to make an estimate, to, to do an approximation over here. I don't know what's going on. I got to just... I got a guess. I got old experiences. I got a weird pseudo Italian accent making fun of my own, my own people. Um, I'm a quarter Italian. It doesn't excuse that. I'm, I apologize. So I I used the, the orb for Beta Ray Bill, which is not a great orb, but at least we were guaranteed to get two shards and not zero, I think, right? I don't know anymore. 
Um, my the expected value on that orb was just two point seven eight character shards of the featured character that was very build. This time it's dark hawk. Saying it slowly, being careful. Okay. Um, if that's the case, you can unlock dark hawk with twenty two rotations. That's if you do four a day, and then five and a half days, you're done. If you do for seven days, you only have to do three rotations per day. You're 21. You need a little bit more. You can unlock, unlock Dark Hawk unless you get very, very unlucky. Um, that's again. Also, don't forget that's also not even counting the the 40, the, the, the 10 or 20 from the milestones, the five free claim from last week. You're going to get there. You can unlock it with three stars. Again, if estimates are correct, but they may not be. Okay. Do four star. Okay. You're going to need. 43 rotations over seven days. That's like over six a day. Okay, doable. That's not eight a day. It's great. You, it's possible. Assuming reasonable math, assuming all, assume, 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 assume. I know. Five star. You need 85 rotations in seven days. That means you need, um, you can't do it just by blitzing. <laughs> you can't do it. It's not going to happen. Okay, sorry, friends. It's not going to happen. So, unless you get really lucky in your orbs and or you buy offers and all that kind of stuff, right? Above and beyond. But just from pure blitzing and just pure blitzing and the milestones, you can't get a five star. Unless you get really lucky in the orbs. Okay? Okay. So, we're calibrated for three stars, pretty easy. Four star ain't bad. Five stars are going to cost you money. What about six? What about seven? How about systems that are be predicated upon us getting seven yellow stars and seven red stars? How are you going to get that done ever in your Marvel Strike Force life? With money, peasants. <laughs> How it goes. All right. So to summarize, sort of, if you do, I built three scenarios. If you do scenario one, four rotations, one you're going to get three star with 32 more shards left over. That's fragments plus the milestones. FC is free claim from last Friday. Is Okay. If you're like me, eight rotations a day because I love to blitz. We blitz so much. I even have blitz for breakfast. Rice blitz, my new favorite cereal. Shout out to Kroger. I may or may not have drawn the L in there. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, we blitz a lot. We do it for events when they make us, when they give us rewards. Um, we're gonna get. I'm gonna get four star, plus sixty nine. Yeah, everybody wins. Um, shards, not even five star from going crazy. Like I said, that's that's me. Eight rotations a day. Plus some more charges. I might get closer and closer to five star, but uh, we'll see. I gotta get lucky. I gotta get lucky on the orbs. I gotta get extra blitz charges. Get lucky on the frags that drop per 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 win. Lucky I might get five star out of this if I was doing it there without spending money or spend some money because that's what they want you to do. They want you to get a taste. Mm. Mm, first one's free. Oh, it's great. Mm, thank you, Costco sample person. Mm, I love this. It's on sale in aisle seven. Oh, that's right. You're not here for the meal. You're here for the samples. Samples are free. The rest is going to be tough. So that's kind of the video. That's your whole whole outlay is basically, hey, look, if you want to blitz hard, you can get a four-star character by blitzing hard and doing your normal power cores and stuff. Even the extra power cores a day gives you more points, more milestone points. That's probably worth 20 shards. If that was, is, that, is that worth going uh, extra 3,500 power cores? No, but if you're already spending the power cores, you can get more points, so go ahead and do it up, okay? Um, outside of that, three star, if you're going light, if you're four rotations, or 100 power cores, or if you do more, you can get three stars. You can get three stars pretty easy. Four stars isn't that bad. What's your goal? I will tell you the good news is, um, I'll show you mine, if you me yours. Uh, my Pegasus team right now is already kicking butt. I already sim. Now I know, I know, I'm a crackany type person. But my team already, I sim 1.6 with my three-star Darkhawk, my three-star Ironheart. I don't know. I got, I've invested in Kestrel and Rescue. My five-star Iron Man, I got, I got pretty lucky on the last event. Um, and yeah, I bought, I bought a cheap offer. Um, <laughs> right? Th this, this is already sims. So you, if you don't, you're not panicking. Like, I got to get a five-star Darkhawk or I can't possibly do raids. You'll be fine. I need a five-star iron hardware. I can't possibly, you'll be fine. As long as you've got other things like a giant Kestrel, you'll probably be fine. So that's what we're talking about. So that's the event. That's the nutshell. There's a lot of extra math. Oh my God, so much, 
So much crazy math, so much extra stuff on here. Uh, I do math, so you don't have to. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, join the channel, join us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ambassador Al. We have a good time. I'll do customized math for you. We'll figure things out. And once the event starts, we'll make adjustments to what actually happens and see, hopefully is it better than for us? Or is it worse? I don't know. And also, Scopely, please institute the one hour blitz cooldown during the events that require blitzing. Not all 24 seven, I get that. That's too nice for us peasants, but the one hour cooldown during the events where we kind of feel forced to blitz would be player friendly. And people might actually be in a better mood would actually, you know, buy your battle passes, your strike passes, your cheap offers, you're doing stuff. We're more likely to go ahead and part with some money versus like, if you don't treat us nice, why would we reward you with more money? That's not how that works. It does up to a point, but not past that point. And that's a problem. Anyway, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. All right, Ambassador Al says, this is a doable event. So go, go forth and do it. We'll adjust on the fly as we go, see if it's better or worse, but it's an okay event, all right? Eh, eh. For, for, for what it is, it's okay. All right. Winning beats losing. Losing beats not getting to play. As long as you're in the game, you can win the fight another night. See you guys next time here on the on the on in the embassy. And as long as you stay playing, you can always stay winning. Love you guys. Mean it. Bye.